I was walking around the Raleigh flea market and saw this sitting on a table and I asked about it and the vendor said that it was a coil for a Ford automobile. And of course here you can see why he thought that. It says Ford on the side and that's the w way it started out. It was a coil for a Ford automobile but somebody changed it into a very nice homemade crystal set and they did a excellent job at constructing this crystal set here's the top of this and you can clearly see the Galena and the cat whisker and when you poke around with that cat whisker on the top of that Galena what you're making is a point contact diode now here's the controls in the front the top two controls connect to a coil on the inside and the bottom one is a book capacitor now here's the inside uh, one side of it slides open that item that's on the right there in the back that's a capacitor here we're down a little bit farther and down at the bottom is the book capacitor and I believe that whoever made this also wound that coil it looks really good I still don't think it's a commercial made coil though I think he made that also here's another look at the top and a much closer look at that Ford emblem I believe that this one is a fairly early logo for Ford I'm not sure I really don't know anything about car parts now here's a much closer look at that book capacitor and if you take a look on the left side upper left you'll see this screw here and when I screw it out a little bit like I have done here that allows that book capacitor to open up and I have a demo on the operation of that book capacitor okay let's take a look at that book capacitor which is right here it's hinged here and right here is one plate and the other plate is down here and when I move it in this direction the capacitance between those two plates decreases yeah, looks like that's about it and when I turn it in this direction the capacitance between those two plates increase really works very smooth and did a really good job I believe this crystal radio set was made in the 20s and I think that the person that built this thing 
would be pleased that it is now on YouTube for everyone to see. Thanks for watching.